In this PowerPoint, we will cover an example of one-way ANOVA. In clinics provide urgent care services to rural areas. Recently, they established three new clinics at three adjacent small towns, and they would like to determine if there's a significant difference in the average number of patient visits in these three different rural locations. The locations include Oaks, Round Hill, and Halifax. Use the 0.05 significance level in hypothesis testing. Data on patient visits for each of the locations were collected over a period of five days. For example, on day one, there were 13 patient visits in the Oaks location, 10 in the Round Hill location, and 18 in the Halifax location. By simply looking at the data, one can see that Halifax has the largest number of patient visits. The first step in testing the claim of whether there is a significant difference in the average number of patient visits among the three locations is setting up the null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis, which is the status quo, indicates that there is no significant difference in the average number of patient visits among the three locations, while the alternative hypothesis indicates that the mean visits are not equal or that there are significant differences in the average number of patient visits across the three locations. In the second step, a decision is made about the level of significance. In this study, it is set at 0.05. Finally, in the third step, one needs to decide what type of st test statistic to use. Since there are three averages, the best tool is the F distribution, and thus the F test statistic should be used. To analyze the data for this problem in Stata, first you enter the data in Stata spreadsheet, which can be done by going to the data editor. Next, you need to enter the variables. In this study, we have two variables, namely the location variable with three groups. For this categorical variable, assign number codes to each of the groups. 1 equals Oaks, 2 equals Round Hill, and 3 equals Halifax. And the second variable is the number of patient visits, which we will treat as continuous. One can manage the data by changing variable names, labels, and saving. You can name the variables by using the variable properties from the menu or use the command rename. For example, rename var2 visits, as shown below. Please review the Stata commands by going through your reading assignments. To perform one-way ANOVA in Stata, use the command one-way, then enter the dependent continuous variable, which in our case is visits, then enter the categorical independent variable, which is location, and the command tabulate after the comma. The command tabulate allows one to examine means and standard deviations of the number of visits by location. In this sample, we have five days during which data was collected on the number of visits. During four days at the Oaks location, the average number of visits was 12.75 with a standard deviation of 0.96 while for Round Hill, it was 11.5 with a standard deviation of 1.29 visits. The highest average number of visits was for the Halifax location at 17, with a standard deviation of 0.71. Before interpreting the findings in the ANOVA table, we need to check the assumption of equal variances. The command one way allows to test for significant differences among means and the equal variances assumptions. The null hypothesis for the equal variances assumptions is Variance 1 is equal to variance 2 is equal to variance 3, meaning the population variances are equal. The alternative hypothesis would be variance 1 is not equal to variance 2 is not equal to variance 3. In this case, we prefer not to reject the whole null hypothesis, and indeed we cannot reject it since the p-value based on Bartlett's test for equal variances is 0.77, which is greater than 0.05. Thus, the assumption of equal variances holds. So, we can proceed to interpret the ANOVA findings. Since the p-value of 0.000 is less than alpha of 0.05, the decision is to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a significant difference in the average number of patient visits across the three clinics. However, this test does not tell us where the differences are. For example, is there a significant difference in the average number of visits between the two locations of Halifax and Oaks? To answer those kinds of questions, we can conduct a Tukey, Bonferroni, Chaffee, or Sidak multiple comparison test. 
These statistical tests can help us identify potential pairwise differences in the means. Next, we will discuss multiple comparison tests and post hoc analysis. Multiple comparison tests are used when an overall significant difference in the averages between groups has been determined using the F value of ANOVA. Specific techniques have been developed to handle multiple comparisons due to a buildup of the type 1 error rate. For example, if four groups need to be compared with two at a time, there will be six comparison tests. Let's suppose that the alpha value is set at 0.05, meaning that there is a 0.95 probability of not making a type 1 error. If each pairwise comparison is performed, the probability that no type 1 error will be committed in any of, in any of the six tests is 0.95 to the 6th power, which is equal to 0 0.735. Thus, the probability of committing type 1 error is equal to 1 minus 0 0.735, which is equal to 0 0.265. As you can see, the error rate has increased from 0.05 to 0.265. To address this issue, specific multiple comparison tests have been developed to take care of this type 1 error buildup and keep it under control. Here are some statistical tests that can be used to look for pairwise significant mean differences after an overall significant finding from an F test. Two keys honestly significant difference. This requires equal sample sizes. The Tukey Kramer procedure, which is used when sample sizes are unequal. The Bonferroni multiple comparison method, which is based on confidence intervals, can be used for both equal and unequal samples. The Chaffee test, which is used more frequently with unequal samples, although it can be used with equal samples as well. The Bonferroni multiple comparison method is the most commonly used test. This is the test we will use in the next few examples. To run the Bonferroni or Chaffee test in Stata, simply use the one-way command like before, and add BON or SCH after the comma. In this case, both of these tests were required to be run, just so you can see what the results look like. However, there is no need to run both of these. One is sufficient. For example, you may run just the Bonferroni. The results display pairwise comparisons. For example, the first pairwise comparison is between the Oaks and Round Hill locations. Specifically, the mean difference in the average number of visits between these two locations is negative 1.25. However, this mean difference is not statistically significant since the p-value is 0.311, which is greater than 0.05. The level of significance is set at 0.05. For the next pairwise comparison, we observe that the mean difference in average number of visits between Halifax and Oaks of 4.25 is statistically significant since the p-value of 0.000 is less than 0.05. The other findings can be interpreted in a similar manner. The Chaffee test shows similar findings.